What if a devil fruit ate another devil fruit? How would that change things? What actually would happen? And shout out to my comment section. In the video, we talked about Luffy having two devil fruits because in the road to laugh tale, it confirmed that Luffy's devil fruit is both Paramecia and mythical Zoan. The idea sprang up because of Zoans being the most malleable, meaning they have their own will. So therefore you can feed them to objects. But can you feed a Zoan fruit to another devil fruit? I mean, it sounds crazy conceptually, but Blackbeard ate two devil fruits. So I don't know what's crazy anymore. And Luffy literally has the powers of a mythical zone and a paramecia and we know what's coming if you don't want to believe it you don't have to but i definitely believe luffy will get another power but we'll talk about that but again this is basically showing you guys some love and we're going to highlight a bunch of amazing comments that we got from that video and the first is luffy being able to affect his own lineage factor so that he doesn't need a second devil fruit and this is by unknown variable shout out to him to break this down a bit more the lineage factor that is the blueprint of life itself in the one piece world is present in all living organisms from a young age the growth of any life form can be changed and that's what happens when you eat a devil fruit it manipulates your lineage factor and that gives you a supernatural power now where do you supernatural power come from that's anyone's guess but for judge and vegapunk they were pulling these abilities from actual animals so for instance artificial devil fruits when kaido's lineage factor was extracted by vegapunk to replicate his devil fruit it's considered a failure but momonosuke can pretty much do everything kaido can do he can't shoot any blast breaths yet but I think he will be able to. I think Vegapunk lied on purpose about this devil fruit being a failure just to keep it there for whatever reason because Vegapunk seems to be playing 4D chess that everyone doesn't know exactly what he's doing. Sometimes I think he's a revolutionary. Sometimes I think he's just a crazy scientist uh, that likes experimenting, but we gotta wait and see. Um, so going back to the initial point of the lineage factor from the comment saying Luffy being able to manipulate his own lineage factor to give him any power, that would be absolutely broken because that means by manipulating his own, he could be granted any ability that he wants because it changes if you manipulate it that's too far even though luffy's ability technically it is only limited by his imagination i we gotta draw the line somewhere okay now for luffy's devil fruit from what we know is the gomu gomu no mi but it's also the mythical zone human fruit model nika now the unique thing about this is that oda created his own god within his story and then basically made a devil fruit from it now when i think about mythical zones my mind starts to race because mythical zones are a combination of paramecia and zones basically there's zones Owens with special abilities so when i think of someone like hawkins and i always reference hawkins because it's so unique of a power it's the straw power but he can use voodoo dolls and straw men etc when i think of someone like sengoku who he has the Buddha fruit, right? How much of that traces back to gold? And then for mythical Zoan fruits, are any of them man-made? Like for Marco's fruit, it's a regular Phoenix fruit, but it has healing properties. Could they have fed a Zoan fruit to an actual heal, heal, no me, right? That has healing flames and that's your only ability, but you fed a Zoan fruit to that devil fruit. And then here we are with Marco's devil fruit. The only strange thing here is that we know once someone dies, the devil fruit is reincarnated. And so if you do do that, right? Uh, we're in super theoretical land now if you decide to feed a devil fruit another devil fruit if that person dies after eating that do you have to replicate that same formula or is that fruit now a thing but also another thing if you feed a devil fruit to another devil fruit so now there are two souls within does that person die after eating that those are very particular questions that's why even the thought of someone or devil fruit eating another devil fruit it's unheard of so um back to the comment section I want to shout out anubis here he talks about just just putting it out there liquid rubber is a thing so if luffy already has zone powers and paramecia powers then he could in theory also have a low gear power as well and i 100 agree with you and i think that's luffy's next power up which is almost inevitable and i think it's going to tie perfectly into luffy versus blackbeard now with luffy's abilities so far it is clear oda is going the route of developing luffy in a different way from blackbeard but i think they're going to meet and have a perfect union or opposition to fight each other because they have a different stance of beliefs uh they come from two opposite sides of the spectrum but we'll talk about luffy versus blackbeard and how monumental this will be but about luffy's liquid rubber luffy has the gomu gomu no mi and now he has
as the mythical zone model Nika. And for the most part, a lot of people are upset with Oda a little bit because they feel like for Luffy's Devil Fruit, Oda did not have to make it a mythical zone because for the model Nika, basically everything it does is just enhance Luffy's rubber abilities. It basically takes the cap off of his imagination. So he doesn't have to be a mythical zone, but Oda's telling us something. There's a route he's going. We know from the road to Laftail, Zoans typically their awakening is a transformation. So basically, I'm assuming for Luffy's awakening, just from his Zoan fruit, you could say his transformation was gear second, gear third, gear fourth, or a combination. And now he's in gear five. He can now use the properties of the Paramecia as well, and everything is enhanced to the umpteenth degree. I know some people are going to disagree with the liquid rubber point, but at this point, how can we say that when we've seen Paramecias that operate like Logias? And this could be Oda setting things in motion based on the sequence of events. Luffy went and fought Katakuri, right? And Katakuri has a Paramecia Devil Fruit and it operates somewhat like a Logia, but he does that through Future Sight. We saw what Luffy was able to do versus Kaido. Do we think Luffy is actually limited so that he won't be able to manipulate his body to move around just like Katakuri does and increase the properties of his Devil Fruit just like Katakuri does? Bro, Luffy's next gear or next power up will 100% include the ability for him to make liquid rubber or as some people would say, the resin. Now, back to the resin theory because the resin theory gets shit on so much now we have the gear fifth theory. And for a lot of you guys, it's super disingenuous because so many people love the resin theory. And now after it was disproved, it was like, I can't believe you guys thought it was resin. And here's the crazy thing. Even though you feel like it could be something, doesn't mean that once it's revealed to not be that thing, that you're mad or you're upset or you're looking at Oda like, why didn't you do this? In the One Piece community, theories and theoretical positions, this this is where the community thrives. It wasn't my theory, but it was something that I thought was really cool that could have been possible. So I'm not gonna shit on the creator of the theory and say, oh my God, you were just wrong. Why would you think that? Because it was clever, it was creative, and it was entertaining. So people, like in this instance, right, when we talk about liquid rubber, and even if it's resin or whatever, there's nothing in one piece at this point that I don't believe that could happen. I think anything is possible. We've seen Luffy become a literal giant. We saw Luffy's hand go through Kaido's head. We saw Luffy grab lightning and pretty much turn it into rubber. We saw Luffy send back Kaido's blast breath by turning the ground into rubber. What is the limit now? There is none, but that's how I feel about it. Now back to the point about humans creating mythical zones, because I think it's pretty intriguing where when you think about mythical zones, you get to a point where maybe it can make sense. Then you get to Katarina Devon's fruit. How would one make that? Then of course you get to Sengoku's fruit. How would one make that? You get to Yamato's fruit. You can say a combination of ice powers with his Zoan, but then we get to a place where things are just unexplained. I have no idea how you create a fruit like Law or the Jacket Jacket no Me. These things probably can make sense once we know what the Sea Devil is and exactly where Devil Fruits came from. Or even then, it might not make sense. I was talking to someone and they said, what if Oda never explains where Devil Fruits come from? And that's just always a mystery in One Piece and it's just a special power. Would you guys like that? Would it matter? Would it be, yeah, whatever. It is what it is, Oda's gonna do what he does. Personally, I think we need an explanation. I, that's just me. Just because Devil Fruits is so unique and now we're crossing over into somewhat Chimera territory where we're having a mixture possibly and Devil Fruits could be classified in the wrong way. One stream, what we're gonna do is go through Devil Fruits and see if we can classify them into a different type or see if an awakening would change the type. That would be a really fun video or stream rather. The thing is, as much as we learn about Devil Fruits, I still think we're in the dark until we meet Vegapunk because he's able to actually transfer Devil fruit powers into objects and even awakenings after seeing several I, I still need to know more we don't know what a logia awakening is and oda's obviously saving it because i think blackbeard's awakening with him being even a special logia is going to be astronomical so guys give me your thoughts i know i've said a lot but what do you think about devil fruits eating other devil fruits what do you think about luffy's next gear do you think luffy could possibly become a logia i think it could definitely be a thing again based on the sequence of events and what do you think about mythical zoan fruits do we think we have any man-made fruits that are in circulation that we think are completely natural Give me your thoughts. Make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAce. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys all so much. Again, guys, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
start doubting me, I felt lost. I